Hi, Charles. Thank you for the question. You know, I realize the importance and I support the security of our borders. I, I don't know of any public official or any governor across the country that wouldn't say to you, our borders must be secure. And so if that was the intent of Real ID, I support that. But the fundamental problem with the Real ID Act is it's seriously flawed. Uh, it doesn't take into account personal privacy of our citizens. And it is one of the most grossly underfunded mandates that we have seen from the federal government. So I signed a piece of legislation, bipartisan support, that said that we would defer implementation of Real ID in our state until those serious flaws had been addressed. In the meantime, we've taken a leadership role. We've put in place a voluntary enhanced driver's license so our citizens can visit across Canada uh, and making sure our border is secure, but making sure that they can easily get across the border. Uh, that's the kind of thing we need to do. That's real ID implementation that makes our border secure, does not interfere with personal privacy, and not as a grossly underfunded mandate from our federal government. So Charles, thank you for the question. I, I hope you agree with me on that answer.